Researchers at Colorado State University have found dry and windy conditions have also created another problem when it comes to our snowpack. Yeah, those conditions in nearby states can actually increase the threat of flooding here in Colorado. Our Dylan Thomas is live tonight in Weld County. Dylan, you've spent years covering the impacts of everything from fire to snowstorms. Now researchers say we have to pay attention to dust as well. You know, Michael, we sure do. Dust getting into the snowpack in southwest Colorado, that's not all that uncommon, but researchers have now found that the dry dirt carried by strong winds from the Four Corners area has now blanketed the snowpack here in the northern half of the state. That layer of dust could mean that rivers like the Poudre right here behind me could be running very high very soon. When it comes to snowpack in Colorado, we started high and we've stayed high, which is good for Colorado's runoff. While there is a slight risk of flooding in some areas due to snowmelt, the other concern is dust on snow, something that has been detected as far north as Rabbit Ears Pass, west of Rocky Mountain National Park. What we've seen up in the mountains is that there was this large, substantial dust layer that was deposited last Monday. CSU climatologists and their partners have found a layer of dust that most likely traveled from hundreds of miles away. If you have the right winds, it picks up the dust and then deposits it on the snowpack. Sometimes the snow can even form around dust particles themselves. So what does this mean? It really accelerates and increases the rate at which snow melts. The sun is the big driver of snow melt in Colorado and you add dust or you add things like ash, or you have black carbon particulates after fire, that really lowers the reflectivity, meaning that the sun is gonna absorb a lot more energy and melt the snowpack faster. Dust layers this far into the Rockies is relatively rare, but now that it's here, is that a good or a bad thing? It's, it's nature, but it's, it's bad for water managers because then we get a lot more water coming earlier and then the potential for more flooding. Quicker melting means that rivers like this could be running lower than normal come the fall time as well. To give context as to how rare it is for the dust to make its way all the way up here, the last time a lot of dust blanketed the snow pack up in northern Colorado was around Valentine's Day in 2006. Wow. Reporting live in Weld County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, Dylan, thank you. Dylan is our nor reporter covering everything that happens in northern Colorado. Let him know your story ideas by calling our tips line 303-863-TIPS or through our website, cbscolorado.com.